Alright, so hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team, here to post a very quick video. Now, many of you may have seen already, just a couple of minutes earlier, I attempted to do my very first live stream here on the channel. I had no idea what I was doing. I was using my YouTube app on my phone because I don't know how to set up an encoding software, but I'm working on that. So I was using my phone and it would let me talk for like five minutes and then it would disconnect me from the server. The good news is I was able to talk for about six minutes. Looked terrible doing it. Uh, you guys can check out that video I just posted before this one. Although after watching me uh, scrambling to get this live stream working, hopefully uh, many of you won't have already unsubscribed, citing my total incompetence to set up a simple YouTube stream. So, okay, enough. Enough with the self-hatred here. Um, boy, I'm so tired. But I wanted to get this video up real fast because as I said in that live stream, Mr. Tom DeLong, and I know some of you hate it that I uh, keep talking about him, but of course, as soon as I posted a video saying we hadn't heard about him in a while or from him, he posts a new UFO video to his official To The Stars YouTube channel. Now, if you guys remember, his company, the To The Stars Academy, promising the world that he would uncover the secrets behind the alien and UFO phenomenon, and uh, in doing so, said that he would be releasing three declassified military UFO videos. In other words, uh, videos that came from the cameras mounted on military jets flying above the skies of the United States when they captured on their cameras and uh, subsequently tracked some strange things. Now, you guys have already seen two of those videos, which we covered uh, over the past year. Uh, one and then another one months later and you're seeing those videos and stills from those videos here and so today his third and last video that he promised he just suddenly uh, sprung it on us and the video is called go fast so without further ado i'll let you guys see the video as well as some pretty interesting developments that have just come to my attention about it so check this out Okay, so, it's not very long, and as I said in the live stream, I am really not that impressed. Uh, out of the three UFO videos, all of them being uh, black and white or infrared or FLIR camera footage, grainy at best, showing these small white or black objects, you cannot make them out. This one was the worst of all of them. Because here, the object in question is even smaller, it's further in the distance, uh, we do not get the full video, we don't really get to see the start of it, we sure as hell don't get to see the end of it. We get no information as to what this object was, was it later found out to be a drone, a bird, a balloon, something natural flying by, we don't know. But what we did get was this video here, seen from the official YouTube channel, of To The Stars Academy for Arts and Science. The video was titled, Go Fast, official USG footage of a UAP for public release. Now, at the beginning of the video, he states that this official USG footage was brought to you guys exclusively by To The Stars Academy of Arts and Science. And we're gonna get back to that here in just a second. And so the video goes on, to speak about how this is the third of three videos of the so-called unidentified aerial phenomenon, as uh, Tom calls them, and apparently the government, and that have been reviewed and approved for public release. Remember that too. Now, it's said that this footage was taken aboard a U.S. Navy F-18 Super Hornet by a camera using Raytheon Advanced Targeting Forward-Looking Infrared. I know that's a handful. But basically, it's a camera that allows you to see in the infrared spectrum. And so, again, from what I can see in this footage, 
something uh, is flying by off the coast of the ocean. Uh, in the video, he says that this was taken back in 2015. Uh, during the video, you can hear some, uh, what I guess are U.S. fighter pilots uh, sort of laughing, asking what the object was, uh, extremely excited. I mean, they sound kind of like two frat guys uh, sitting in their living room watching a UFO video. You know, it doesn't strike me as two highly trained fighter pilots, but again, this is just what the video showed. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, just like the other two videos that Tom has gotten released, we only get a little edited snippet. We don't, we don't know what happened in the beginning, the end, what the object did. Did it disappear? Uh, did it turn out to be a bird? We don't know. We don't get that. But what we can see is that they're obviously tracking something that would seem to be moving fast over the ocean off of the east coast. And according to the information in the video description, the object in view remains unidentified. Uh, and so, like I said, guys, this video, along with the others, although definitely interesting and could very well show, you know, proof of anti-gravity craft, if that is indeed what they are, we will likely never know because the way that Tom has released them and sort of slowly drip fed them out, when we do see them, they're highly edited. We are told that the footage has been reviewed and scrubbed of any identifiable information. Uh, but basically, we're asked to take Tom's word for it and that the footage is legit, uh, as well as the audio in it, that it is legit, and that, uh, you know, it hasn't been edited or created by the government. See, that's the thing. When you're working with the government, as Tom apparently is, and I've said this many times before and I'll say it again, you cannot trust the government, all right? The government does not care about the disclosure of the alien phenomenon. The government has a history of putting out disinformation, covering up the truth at every turn, and you can best believe that if one of them does suddenly start quote-unquote working with the UFO community and uh, we start seeing released footage like this, I think it's highly suspect because the government is going to show us only what they want us to see. And that is exactly where these videos are coming from. So we don't know what they are exactly. We don't know what these objects are that are being caught in them. We don't know if these are training exercises, which if I'm remembering correctly, is exactly what the defense and intelligence agency said about this footage was that they were training videos. And I also remember that when the New York Times posted an update and they did an article about these videos when uh, the news was all breaking, that they said that these videos were actually quote-unquote produced by the Department of Defense instead of saying provided courtesy of the Department of Defense. So produced by the Department of Defense, what does that mean? And so, you know, I mean, you guys are going to have your own opinion. I will have mine. I think by now you guys know I'm skeptic of Mr. DeLong. Uh, I'm skeptic of the people, especially, again, the government, who are supposedly suddenly working with him and the UFO community. And it really brings up questions because you cannot trust the government. There's a, a great documentary I mentioned in the live stream called Mirage Men, which basically demonstrates how some years back the government had one of their agents infiltrate the UFO community as this sort of plant uh, where he went in, he started spreading disinformation, he hooked up with some of the biggest names in ufology, and he completely muddied the waters. It's an amazing documentary. It's called Mirage Men. I highly suggest you check it out. So it makes you wonder who is talking in Tom's ear and how legit is the information he's being given. And just on a final note here, you'll remember earlier, at the beginning of Tom's video, which he just posted yesterday, it says this was been, you know, brought to you exclusively by To The Stars Academy, although it should be publicly available to anyone who files a Freedom of Information Act request. Now, having said that, and how supposedly exclusive this footage is, never seen before, Okay, people have invested over $2.5 million into Tom's company. He's releasing these secret, never-before-seen military UFO videos, including this one exclusively, only to find out that this third video that you guys are seeing here has been online for the past two years. Free uh, to anyone who wanted to simply look it up and watch it. 
and you're seeing it here where it was originally uploaded two years ago to the video sharing site Vimeo. And I will put a link to this down below. You can see it here. The title of the video is East Coast 2015, posted by a user Jeremy Kenyon Lockyer Corbell who actually is someone I know of. This guy is a filmmaker who has actually put out some recent films working with The Orchard. And so again, this just sort of makes me question, you know, the story. I mean, it's just, I thought it was exclusive coming from Tom DeLonge and his company, never before seen, and yet here it's been. You know, it makes me wonder. It's just all these little things. But uh, again, I'll put the link down below. You guys tell me what you think. I'm going to jump off here. I just did that live stream, was messing with that forever, and uh, I think I'm going to hit the sack. I think I'm actually going to sleep. So bear with me as I get this streaming stuff worked out, and uh, we'll start doing it more and more. I think I'll enjoy it, and it'll allow us all to hang out in real time and just talk about whatever. So tell me what you think down below. Let's keep it nice. Let's keep it civil, and I will see you guys back in just a bit.